what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time welcome of course and let's just get right into the video you're here for a reason obviously you want to download graphics bots in 5m so what you're going to do is go to google if you don't want to go to google obviously the link to this mod will be in the description you're going to see patreon right here don't worry it is a pre-release it's free to download so you just hit download right there it's going to take you to a mega upload that they i'm assuming the creators did so if you want it for Rage MP, single player, zip, any of that, that's fine. But we're going to do the 5M one because this is what we want here. So we're going to hit download there. It's going to download. All right, so this is just a sneak peek of what the graphics look like in game. If you want core effects, obviously this works for any other uh, mod pack you might want to download this with the police lights look. So if you want this one specifically, this is just a quick sneak peek at it. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thank you guys. And we're going to continue the video. All right, so now that the download is done, so once it finishes down here, it's going to start to download up here. This is the one you're going to want to click. Uh, let me just drag it over here. So this is what you're going to see. We can close out of that, open it up here. It has all three of them in here anyway, but we only need the 5M one, I'm assuming, for this, for you guys, obviously. So all that, none of that you really have to worry about. The core effects, you're going to now, what you want to do is you're going to want to open up your 5M folder. And that's where all the magic happens. So we're going to do that, and then I'll see you there. All right, so once you close out of everything, and I figured I should do this for you guys, um, for some people who may not know. So you want to have 5M on your desktop. I don't know why the logo is not there for me, but it will be like the, it'll be this logo right there. So you're going to right-click it. You're going to do open file location uh, right there. Sorry. Um a little blind right now open file location it's going to open this up so we're going to actually do this on this half of the screen we'll put this over here we're going to open up application data you're going to see all of this stuff in here we don't need to worry about all that you're going to go to mods here i already have it downloaded as you can see so what you want to do you're going to drag this and i will drop it over there just to show you so that is going to be a replace for me for you it won't ask you to replace it you just put it in your mods folder if you don't have a mods folder just make one it's not a big deal we're going to back out of that after that, and then the EMB is required. So this also has to get installed into your GTA 5 root folder, so I suggest having a backup if you can. If not, it shouldn't be a huge deal. But basically, all of this is going to go into your plugins folder here. So you see I have it all over there, so you're just going to take this, you're going to drag it over there, replace, and it's going to go through all that for me. It's going to replace it, obviously. For you, it won't do that. Back out again, so you have optionals before we do the GTA 5, so we're not going to worry about that just yet. So you can do brighter emergency lights, which I highly recommend. If you don't want motion blur, you can do that, and all of these uh, are back in your mods folder, as you can see. So I have the lights pack, the sun flare, um, all, all this extra stuff here. The visual settings does the, um, the emergency lights. So if you want it to say do the emergency lights, you click that, hit mods, you would take this, drag it over here. I'm not going to do this for all of them. It literally goes for every single one of them, whichever one you want. You can see the comparisons if you click the link that they give you. Remove Corona. This is good, but it dims your lights. So I don't know if you're playing on a 5M server, you might want brighter emergency lights. You can keep that and just put the brighter emergency lights in and then leave that out. The reshade presets. This is all optional. I personally didn't do that. Um, you can do that if you like. Um, street lights. I did do the street lights. That same thing goes right in your mods. So all of that, I mean, you're pretty much done. The last thing we need to do now is go to our um, game library. So for me, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5. So see here, we have all of that. We're going to back out of this. We're going to go back to the EMB series. So the you're going to open up the plugins and all of this is literally just going to get put right in there. And like I said, if you don't have a backup, I suggest doing that before doing this, just in case it messes anything up. It shouldn't. But that's all you got to do. And then you're done. Your game will look like mine. If you'd like to see more videos of how Core Effects looks, you can go to my channel. I have plenty of them up and just watch them. If you like it, okay, great. If not, there's other graphics mods out there you can find. And yeah, you'll... Pretty much install them all the same way as this so thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helped you if it did leave a like drop a comment subscribe for more if you guys want to join oceanside rp with me i promise you it is the best thing to do right now it is a great server it's realistic we try and have as much fun as we possibly can the link will be in the description but 
with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.